Obstructive sleep apnea is where your breathing stops for a short period of time while sleeping. This is caused by something that obstructs the airway during sleep. Obstructive sleep apnea impacts about 5% of the whole population. Let's have a closer look to see how it occurs. So normally during sleep, air will enter your nasal cavity and oral cavity, move down into the pharynx, trachea, and then finally the lungs, where it will oxygenate your blood. It does this by contracting your diaphragm, which then generates a negative pressure in the airway, and it's this negative pressure that allows air to be sucked into your nose and mouth. Now, during this negative pressure period, your airway will actually start to narrow, and it's the muscles in your pharynx that fight that negative pressure to keep your airways open to allow you to keep breathing. Now, for some people, notably those who are obese, so obesity, particularly around the neck, that extra fat causes pressure to start to push on the airway, which narrows it. Or some individuals who have short jaws, so their mandible causes their tongue to then start to push down and also obstruct their airway. Or individuals with a crowded airway, this would be examples of their tonsils, so tonsils in the back of the nose, the adenoids or the mouth would crowd the airway, obstructing it, and also less efficient muscles, and that would be the pharyngeal muscles. As a result, these individuals, when they go into sleep, their airway starts to obstruct, which prevents the movement of air through their airway. As oxygen starts to drop in their blood, their brain, specifically their medulla, wakes them up to help re-establish that airway. Now, for some people, this could happen every minute during the night. So that's hundreds of times per night. This results in poor quality sleep and the individual never getting into a deep restorative sleep. As a result, the individual will have morning headaches. They'll be sleepy all the time. They'll have fatigue and poor concentration. Long-term, obstructive sleep apnea can increase the risk of cardiovascular disease, stroke, hypertension, and diabetes. The treatments for obstructive sleep apnea is to address the underlying causes. So loss of weight for obese individuals, certain oral devices to help reposition the jaw, surgical intervention to maybe remove tonsils, but the most common is what we call CPAP, which is a continuous positive airway pressure. So it's a mask worn on the nose or mouth or both, and that causes a positive pressure to be in the airway, almost like a splint to keep the airway open, particularly in those periods when the airway is in its negative pressure phase.